Hi there, Dr. Sandy here from Bedford Chiropractic Clinic. Now, I'm really pleased because uh, Michael has uh, agreed uh, to let me just uh, give you a little bit of a taste of sort of uh, what Bedford Chiropractic Clinic um, is all about. And in particular, what it is that I do and why I do what I do uh, and how I can possibly help you. Now, Michael sort of came to me basically because he had some shoulder issues. But the way that I work, this is Michael's first appointment, by the way. Mike, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, he came with a shoulder issue. But the way that I look at uh, every uh, single patient is it's about sort of uh, checking the whole body because the, the human body is not an individual piece. All right, it's not a shoulder, it's not a knee, it's not a hip, it's not a back. Right, it is a, a multifunctional organ right multi-structural organ so the foot for example will affect the ankle which will affect the knee which will affect the hip which will affect sort of the back which will affect sort of the thoracics the neck the shoulders everything and it has been shown with x-rays that when i move my foot the bones in my neck move so the way that i have been working with my patients for the last 20 years is I check everything. So we check your foot right up into your neck and shoulders because I am much, much more interested in finding out the cause uh, of your problems rather than just sort of treating a symptom, okay? So Mike came to me with shoulder problems as we said, okay? Because uh, as we can see uh, from this wonderful torso, he a, a works with weights. Now, what we found was we found that so 20 years ago, he had an ankle problem and that, um, he didn't relate it, but he was getting some knee issues and he was also getting some pelvic issues because obviously everything affects up. The foot affects the ankle, affects the knee, affects up here. So what we found is we found sort of a little bit of a pelvic instability, which he was unaware of, which is unusual because that can cause all kinds of issues around the hip. He was saying that randomly he was getting a bit of hip problems and he was also getting a little bit of knee pain as well, but that was random. It wasn't sort of consistent, but that doesn't matter because the body is very good at holding on to stuff. So if we don't treat it, if we don't check it out, then one day he could just be walking, could get up quickly, take one sort of, uh, uh, make one sudden move and all of a sudden everything crashes because the body is like a house of cards. Sometimes that last card will make everything crash and pain is your body talking to you, telling you something's wrong. You need to do something and you need to learn to listen to it. Pain is not gain, that's garbage. Unless you're an Olympic athlete trying to get those microseconds, those milliseconds to be able to be the number one and get the gold. But none of us, except for those rare few, are those Olympic athletes. So you have to listen to your body. Pain is not gain. So, what we found was we found that he had an ankle issue. The talus, the bone in the ankle, was a little bit stuck. And he didn't know that, right? Uh, but that's what we discovered when I tested the ankle. We also found there's a stiffness in the knee and we also found a PSD, a pubic symphysis dysfunction. So now, um, I treated him already for that, right? Because um, we, we decided to film this uh, a little bit after because I think it's important that you see this. So pull up towards you. So Mike, that's really strong now, but what was it like a minute ago? I couldn't even move it. I was going straight down. Yeah, straight down. There was no strength, was there? No power at all. So what I did was I did the adjustment and now we've got power because the way the human body works is beautiful. When the joint is in the right place, the muscles work. Joint in the wrong place, the muscles can't work because muscles are just pieces of meat. They're there just to move the joint and move the bone, right? Because they're attached from bone to bone, which then sort of crosses over a joint and moves the joint. Now, we've got another issue going on here. So, lift this leg up, straight leg. Now, as we can see, right, Mike is a body, um, you know, he, he lifts weights and he looks after himself. Hold there for me and push up. But he's just got no power there at all. Try again. And I can assure you, are you trying? Yeah. <laughs> so Mike is trying. So what is happening there? So what's happening there is this muscle right here, which is called the psoas muscle. Okay, the major hip flexor. I call it the low back pain muscle. Why? Because when it's tight, can you see what it's doing? It is the only muscle that attaches into the discs of the lumbar spine and it then creates a stress. And that stress can affect 
the muscles in the back, the glutes, everything. So let's just check his glutes just for the fun of it. So just might just push out for me that way hard as you can. And we can see this is no power. Try again. And this is no power. And yet again, you know, as I said, we have sort of a, a gentleman here who does weights and you squat. Yeah. Yeah. And you work on your glutes. Yeah. Okay. So what's happening here is that his body is compensating. So when he thinks he's working his glute muscles, he's actually using these muscles in here. And if I just feel in there, can you feel the tension yeah. in there? Yeah. yeah. They're really tight. So he's using his QL rectus spinae here, right, to make himself be able to do what he needs to do. So we need to reactivate those uh, glutes again. And that's something that uh, is related to his lumbar spine because the lumbar spine is where the nerve supply comes out of and controls the muscles that are the glute muscles and down the leg. So what we need to do is we need to check his lumbar spine to see where there might be a problem in there affecting the, uh, the nerves into there. So let's carry on. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to carry on treating and we're gonna release some of the tension sort of out of the psoas. So if I release the psoas muscle, this is an activator, a special tool for chiropractors, and I'm just releasing the tension out of there. So if I just use this here, so I show you, demonstrate this, okay? That's what we're doing, a very shallow but exceptionally fast thrust. So all I've done there is I manually release that tension out of the psoas. Straight leg, push again, and now the muscle is strong feel the difference yeah. now that is because the loose muscle is much more beneficial to the body than a tight muscle because a tight muscle is going to be pulling on a bone and creating stress on the joint so loose muscles are really good which is why i always recommend stretching and yoga types sort of exercises really really important if you're not doing it you need to stretch and maybe look at yoga as well so that's really important, so we release that. Now we're gonna go and have a check his shoulders out. So let's have a look. Arm straight and push that way, that way. Okay, try again. And he's got no power there at all. Turn your head that way and push again. And turn your head the other way and push again. Okay, so no power. So head back to the center and push to me. Okay, and push to me. Good. Now we're just going to go through his rotator cuff muscles. Push down. Good. And push back. Good. And push that way. Good. And push down. Good. And push that way. Good. And push that way. Good. So all the other rotator cuff muscles are strong. Let me just check one more. Pull down. Okay. The only muscle that's weak is that one, super splenitis. So we got some issues going on in here. Now, what we got is we've got a lot of tension going in here. So this muscle in here is really tight in here and the pec is also tight. The attachment of the pec is very, very tight in here. And his pec muscles have got some really nice trigger points in here, especially right there. And you can feel that, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, okay. So what we need to do is we need to stretch that muscle. So let's do that. I want you to pull down hard as you can. That's it, very good. And hard as you can, ah, excellent. And hard as you can, good. And hard as you can, good. And hard as you can, excellent. Good. And push that way again. And a loose muscle works better. How's that feeling there now? Yeah? yeah? Less painful. Yeah. yeah. Now, you need to put some heat in there and stretch over the edge of a bed or a sofa, right, to help that muscle to relax. Okay? Good man. He's also very, very tight in his rhomboids as well because when this muscle is tight, it's pulling the shoulder forward and creating a strain in the muscles at the back. So let's check the other side. So push that way. Oh, okay. Turn your head. Turn your head the other way. Okay, so push back to me, to me. Okay, so now we've got an elbow issue then. Notice how the elbow was weak there, yeah? So relax me, and push that way, 
That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And relax. Good. Pull that way again. And back to me. Good. And back to me. Excellent. Better? Yeah. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to release the rhomboid. So sit up for me. And arm up here, arm up here. Great. And just come down with me now. And head right back. Well done. And relax again. Beautiful. Now, when the upper traps are tight, generally the lower ribs will be up. The upper ribs will be very tight as well. And he's quite tight right there. So we need to get rid of that. So. Beautiful. Now, the next thing that we need to adjust is the upper cervical, because he's really tight right in there. So, relax for me. Beautiful. And relax again. Excellent. Well done. Turn over onto your tummy. Okay, so now if we have a look here, wow, look at that. So we can see that it's quite a difference. Huge difference there. Okay, put your left arm behind you. Now this is a protocol which is called the activator protocol. And we can see there that there's quite a difference. Okay, so now lift this leg up, straight leg, and push up. Push up to the ceiling. Try this side, try harder, and he's got no power at all. I'm pushing him down just with my thumb. So if I just now go along here and I adjust him right here in his L45 on this side right there, because that facet is stuck, and we have a look now. Okay. Better, but not quite right. So, I need to do one more thing. Much better. Now, lift this leg up and push up. Push up, straight up, straight up, straight up, push up. And, how's that? Mike? Push up. And again, we're not acting here, we're not here to fool you, we're not pretending. Mike, are we pretending? No, we're not. No, we're not pretending. We're not here to fool you. So he's got his strength back because the muscles are activating. Both arms behind you. Perfect. Arms down. Head to the right, head to the left. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to check his ankle again. And I want to check his knee as well. And we're going to check his hip too. Yeah, perfect. Great stuff. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a general release of his sacrum and his pelvis. So the great thing here is I've got these amazing tables that do all kinds of wonderful things. One thing they do is they have a drop on them. So we're just going to release. And we're going to release. Now I'm just going to loosen up his lower ribs and we're going to just loosen him up in here beautiful and he's nice and loose there now okay so up you come fantastic how does that feel yeah a lot a bit painful but yeah, yeah a lot more like relaxed sort of thing good 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 fantastic so mike thank you very much You're i welcome. really appreciate sort of, uh, you sort of letting us film this That's okay fine, thank you very much appreciate it mike Thank you. If you want a proper chiropractic check and you want proper chiropractic treatment, he's your man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care.